and welcome back to the Dark Mod. The Black Mage. Supposedly there's a Black Mage here. We haven't seen them. We know there's a cult leader and some builders, but beyond that, we don't know a damn thing. And these candles are becoming a pain in my buttocks. Anyways, we interrupted these two last time, so let's listen to what they have to say. You hardly ate anything today, and your face has turned a deeply unhealthy color. It appears to me, my young friend, that something is preoccupying you. Why don't you tell me what torments you so? Well, uh, yeah. In fact, I don't feel all that great. I think the beef ragu with peppermint sauce and sweet chestnuts that was served last night did not agree with my stomach. Ah, the beef ragu. A real delicacy, isn't it? But I admit you need a most robust stomach that you have to train over the years in order to enjoy that particular cuisine. Oh yes, yes. I totally agree with you in this regard. Uh, can I ask you a question? Oh, of course, my friend. We have to make sure that our chronicler gets all the information he needs for his work. <laughs> well, I wonder to what extent, uh, well, um, do you think our lord has gone too far with his experiments? An interesting question, albeit a blunt one, and I wonder how you got there. However, you can rest assured, knowing that our patron always endeavors to conduct his experiments in harmony with the laws of nature, so you don't have to fear that something is going wrong. Oh, that calms me down quite a bit. I'm glad I asked. Thank you. Thank you. It was wise of you to ask, indeed. Still, I would advise you not to bother too much with these questions. We all don't want you to end up like your predecessor now, do we? Now that you mentioned it, I've always wanted to know what actually happened to him. Well, we found him upside down in a barrel one day, with only his legs sticking out. By the Builder? How did that happen? Well, it appears as though he asked too many questions on subjects that shouldn't have interested him. Who knows? According to other rumors, he devoured five portions of that sinfully spicy paprika goulash with chili sauce and black pepper, and then drank of said wine barrel and fell into it headlong, by accident. Oh, I see. Please, excuse me. I... I have to get back to work. That's right, get on with it. I'll see you at dinner. I... Hi, um... Well, one of those guys sounded really familiar. Um... I'll be quite honest, I forgot that... This was the mission I had done that for. So, now that I've knocked myself out and my boss, I mean, let's be fair, he deserved it. He was threatening me, and I got... Well, this is really weird. I was not expecting this. <laughs> so, the Chronicler found something... Wow. They were able to keep the feather in his hands. That looks good. Cool. Um, so now we know that at least two people have found out that there's something going on here. I don't know what exactly is going on. We know it's a cult, but how are they making their finances? Because that seemed to be a big sticking point for the, uh, I'm assuming, head builder? So what exactly are they trying to do here? Still don't know anything about paintings. I should probably get on with that. Might be leaving a lot of money on the table. Oop. Can I get that? I can! 
Doesn't look like loot. Huh. Well, I got the cash box key, so there's that. And we got the prison key. So I'm wondering if the prison key will also work on the tower? I'm a bit of a musician as well. I should probably stick to the rivers and lakes that I'm used to. Um, yeah, it's always fun to do some voice acting for some of these fan missions because it's really all I can contribute and I wish I could contribute more. Dear Lord, what is that? What the hell? I don't even know what I'm looking at. Diary. Percy's diary. Last night I made a disturbing discovery and today my fingers still trembling as I write these lines. When I was studying the imposing paintings in the dining room yesterday evening, I saw our patron and landlord approach the always locked door in the kitchen. This sparked my curiosity, of course, since the servants tell me wildest rumors about this door. So I hid myself next to a barrel while our feudal lord opened the door and stepped through. In an unobserved moment, I followed him with quiet steps, and my curiosity rose as I quietly crossed the corridor into the next room. There I saw the noble gentleman operate the combination locks beneath the paintings, and suddenly the massive stone door opened. What followed made my blood freeze. In the pale moonlight, I saw something that I had never seen before and cannot properly express through mere words. A being with a blue aura half in this world and half in the hereafter. Virulent hisses poured from its maw as I had never heard before. At that moment, I was afraid of being discovered by this supernatural creature, so I withdrew into the dark corridor. The last sound I heard was the stone door closing again, and when I dared to look inside again, our lord and the creature had disappeared. I quickened my pace and returned to my chambers. What was to be made of it? Certainly our landlord is a spiritual being who seeks to bring the powers of the pagans and builders into harmony. What I saw was beyond my ken. What should be done now? A more courageous chronicler than I would attempt to solve the mystery of this haunted realm. I'm pretty sure that the three paintings can all be attributed to Bridgeport's great painters, Fergus Landmill. And rumor has it that this great master was inspired by the poems of Calvador the Younger. I'm quite confident that here at the castle are all editions of all three volumes by this truly unique poet. The only question is, where can I find them? Well, and how? if you don't want to find out the answers, I'll take care of it. How can they help me get through this mysterious door, if you even want to? Question after question and no answers in sight. But given what I had seen with my own eyes last night, I wonder if I really want to find the answers. No... No, you don't. But, as I just said, and I guess I'll say again, if you don't want to find it, then I will. Mostly because I'm going to have to, so, um, right into the spittoon. I hope that's a spittoon and not a chamber pot. Probably is a chamber pot. Gross. Hmm. Let's go outside. It's my door key. I'm sorry, Percy's door key. Uh, that's a wicked looking axe. Uh, there's a door missing here. There was a hole here once. What the hell? Um, I don't know if this was missed, but there's a black cube that I want to jump underneath and hit it and hopefully it turns into a golden cube with a question mark and gives me coins. But I don't think it's going to. Odd. I think I am reminded of the wrong franchise. Alright, well, uh, do we already have one of the poems? Let's see here. Poems of Cavaldor. Was it Caval Calvador? Cal Calvin Calvin and Hobbes? Uh, 
so we have the paintings and then yeah poets of calvador the younger so we have one of the three that'll help us get the combination to whatever's underneath the paintings what do we have here is this the guy that was talking to percy do my eyes deceive me yes no it's probably him so hello mr body if you could uh put you on your bed Anything on you? I think that's the first person I've seen that doesn't have a key. Oh no, the two, the two builders in the barracks didn't have keys either. But most people seem to have keys. Can I get this? Can I get this new? No. Whoa! Yep. Thank you. Oh, I can get all of them. The other ones are simply dingy and dusty. Hmm. So I need to keep my eye out for books like that. Oh, it's a diary. Lester the Unlikely, what do you have to say? I have to say, I am very disappointed. I had imagined my business relationships with this crazy aristocrat to be much more lucrative. A financial advisor cannot engage in profitable business if the customer has no assets worth mentioning. His company is unbearable to me as well. And at every opportunity, he rattles on about epochal changes that his next magical experiment will bring. But will that be flying cats, fire-breathing swine, or perhaps the creation of a mud toad with a knack for clairvoyance? Never mind. I don't have time for this humbug. Now I must think about how I can still pilfer something of value here. The Mad Lord mentioned at supper, stuffed turkeys with sage eggs and vanilla sauce, that his grandfather, the late Count Agnes Davenport, once acquired a number of ancient artifacts from the time of the third solstice, the value of which is now immeasurably high. The only problem is that nobody suspected at the time that the value of these items would rise so rapidly in the future. And so, it came about that nobody in the castle knows what these objects look like, much less could they tell you where they are scattered all throughout the castle. Now's my chance to make a profit from this tricky situation. Unfortunately, I don't even know where to begin to look. There must be evidence of the appearance of these artifacts somewhere in the castle. I should start in Lord Davenport's chambers. As an experienced financial advisor, I'm also an excellent lockpick, and will use tonight's favor as an opportunity to take a peek in the Lord's chambers. Should I find anything useful, I will use the rest of the night to find the objects. And at dawn, Disappear through the main gate. The ethos of today's financial advisors is inspiring. To leave this I lunatic behind for well, good. Days. Very inspiring. Um, so is that what the ancient crown and wine glass are? Oh, I already have two of them. Uh, find the five ancient items at once acquired by late Lord Agnes Davenport. So we got a lot we gotta look for. Not that that's a bad thing. Uh, I'm gonna save before we go outside. Okay. I'm glad I saved before I went outside. Sir, if you don't mind continuing on your route, there's nothing to see here. Oh, jerk. I was just seeing if you had a key. You had to step right in front of me. Well, you two can have a nice night. He's probably going to have quite a bit to say when you wake up. But again, he'll probably just play it off like, I don't know what you're talking... Why are there mines all over the place? They're not even set up right. Um, since the objects that he wants are going to be gone. Mm, he'll probably play it off that he doesn't know what they're what the hell they're talking about, do. to stay on one level. You know what? I'm not going up here yet. I'm quite a few gas arrows. Odd. It was just literally just his office. Okay. Well, there's probably something in here. Let's look through all the books to see if they have... If there is a book of poems. Can you gather away? No, of course not. I hope that scrolls nothing. Well, you have a spyglass in there. 
So business advisors are just professional thieves? Is that what this is? Are you serious? Hmm. What's the point of having a lamp and a candle at the same time? Ooh, I didn't even see that. Or that! See, if I could have moved the, the chair, that probably would have been a bit better. It's quite a confined corner office, but... If you're sniffing from a bag of mandrasil, I guess you don't need anything else in, this, in the way of, um... Accommodations. Man, so far this is going very well. I That was loud! I meant to grab both of these and not the not the box that you know made so much noise. Ooh. Observatory. Can I look through it? Oh, I wish we could do that. An ancient mask. Is that three of five? Pegasus, the Holy Forge, or rather Pegasus, not Pegasus. Oh, the Holy Forge and the Sunflower of a. I hit the spacebar button. Isn't isn't this just? I'm presenting this very well, aren't I? Let's start over. Pegasus, the Holy Forge and the Sunflower of Aquarius are still in celestial alignment, in which the visionary aura of Scorpio led me to my true destiny so many years ago. Alas, I can't say that this eases my weary mind because the vision I had in my sleep last night contained so many clear omens that it makes it impossible for me to attribute all of this to poor sleep as a result of an unsavory dinner. In this nightmarish manifestation of future, I saw before me a hooded figure dressed in dark clothes, a human monster of the lowest kind, who strived to sabotage my life's work. He crept through my dwelling, past my worldly protectors. I expected little from them, truth be told, but they only had one job, and infiltrated the keep in such a way that he himself became attuned with this old masonry, like it was an old friend, opening up pathways for him while sly shying him away from the dangers I had set in place. I felt as though the walls themselves were spying on me, and suddenly I recognized the outline of his face within the stone. One which, at least it seemed to me, a sneaky, even thieving smile could be seen. Then I realized one clear truth. This scoundrel, this crook, he didn't steal out of decadence, nor did he steal to make a living. No, all the deeds that this brigand committed, he only did so for his own amusement. For his own devilish satisfaction. He cared little for my work. Given this newfound clarity, I find it difficult to ignore all this. Fortunately, I am always... I and always have been a child of providence, and so I am confident that everything will turn out and as glorious as my infinite personality was destined to be. Oh, so you're just gonna ignore the visions of me. Okay. I mean, that's one way to do it. We found the egg. Just gonna put the egg right on that seat. Boop. Right where it belongs. Alright, well, let's go over to the other one. Oh, this is gonna get confusing, isn't it? Ah, more attic. Fuck all lanterns, unless they're my own. Ooh, somebody reading up in the attic, huh? Never any story? Poems of Calvador. These are some really small volumes when there's only two pages of them. The Day of Reckoning. It will come without warning. The three mounts of the horror will rise before morning. Five cities will die, and so will the realm. The silence of death will follow the rotten smell. So protect the eighth seal from hate and resentment. Because then the Hounds of Doom won't win in the end. I kind of fell apart at the end there. Literally with the end. But, um, okay. That one actually has... Damn, there are so many big arrows around here. Um, uh, there was definitely some numbers in that one. So we can deal with that a little. Another 
water arrow. Always lovely to have. Even though I hardly use them. Hi, how are you? You want to come up here and say hello? I cannot spare the time to light it. <sighs> With hand, heart, and ha- Damn it. I was way too slow for that. Uh, did- What? I haven't even knocked him out yet. Are you serious? Ah! We just have to wait a second, knock him out, and then go read everything that we read before. <laughs> Put you back on the bed where you belong with your bow. <clears throat> you two have fun, all right? Kind of smacked you on the face there, but I, I apologize. I hope that was the door behind me, because it did not sound like the door behind me. Is that what we were thinking? No. For some reason, I thought I had grabbed it last time. Throw that down. Don't grab the box this time. And up we go. Oh, look at all these pages! Oh, I read that quick. Grab that mask. And across we go. Hopefully he's not just up here. That would be unfortunatus. I didn't notice that birdcage last time. Doubt that'll trigger anything. Beyond just triggering me. Did you stay up there? Or not, you could fall down too. Oh. Dick. He's just being an A, so. Where are you going? Just look out the window. <coughs> or stare at the wall. You can do Does something stir? Do that too. Do you go back downstairs, please? What are you doing? <coughs> Very sedentary there for a guard, you know, just leaning up against the wall. That's it. Be at attention. Sir. Do I see? Ah! You did. But you didn't see soon enough. Do you have any on you, actually? Yep. Nope. Just that beautiful chain mail. Crotch. Well, I didn't even need to pick it up, apparently. Alright, let's go back down. My gas lamps, how fancy. You hear that hiss? Okay. Ancient hookah. Hookah. Hookah hookah. That hiss, by the way, since I kind of got distracted there, like I always do, means your house is gonna burn down eventually. something. Hmm. Well, I can pick it at the very least. I don't like this. Something buddy's gonna sneak up on me. This is a tough lock, too. Automatic door, fancy. The Black Mage's Diary. The eponymous Black Mage himself. I've had some success with my experiments thus far, and I have succeeded in wrestling a handful of shadow warriors from the abyss of darkness who are now loyal to me. If everything goes to plan, I will achieve something tonight that the inventors, the pagans, and not even the hammer-loving builders dare dream of. I will open the gates to the nether realm and summon an army of demon warriors. Thanks to a modified switch gear originally used to generate lightning and astral spectral analysis, I have designed an 
ethereal magnetic accelerator, which, when the correct frequency is applied, creates a dimensional gap, and I can then traverse. To achieve this, it was necessary to equip the three parts of the system with the appropriate ethereal resonators. Resistors, rather? Not resistors. I succeeded in doing this by using various precious gems, the degree of hardness of which provides precisely the required density level. The whole contraption is, of course, not only very complicated, but extremely dangerous. The main switch for starting up the system may only be operated when all three gems are in their respective place. What would happen if someone removed the gems and flipped the switch? I don't even want to hazard a guess. As such, I have decided to assign the new servant, Robert, as a watchman. The only issue is that the young man is not very cooperative, and since he does not want to hear, we have now imprisoned him deep in the crypt to, so that he can think of his stubbornness. He will come to his senses sooner or later. If not, I shall entice him with a savory supper. Perhaps one of peas with whipped cream, topped with red onion and sheep cheese. All these responsibilities, and now this power. How ridiculous the achievements of my late grandfather, Agnes Davenport, seemed against my project. Therefore, whenever the burden of my truly epoch-making task threatens to bring me to the brink of exhaustion, I always look at his portrait in my rooms. It shows him in the midst of some of the ridiculous ancient world possessions, but a gullible man, harboring, at best, small-minded and ephemeral goals. I, for one, will not go down in history like that, because in hundreds of years, people will still speak of me and my army with shuddering voices. And I hit escape, completely ruining all of that. Well... Um, I'm assuming Robert joined this place because, well, it was a cult, so he got suckered in. But, um, yeah, he saw something he wasn't supposed to. Just like a couple people here. Percy did, the person before him did. And, uh, yeah. Can't have them ruining any of that. Ah, okay. So one, two, three, four. Those are all the things that we need. Let's see here. I have... The glass and the crown. There's the crown and glass on the end there. The ancient mask and ancient hookah. I just need the vase in the middle for whatever's going on here. Hmm. The keys behind pillows. No, it doesn't seem like it. All right. Um. I... what? A sketch has been added to the inventory. Oh, that's nice. I like that. I like that a lot. That's fucking cool. I really like that. But I guess this door doesn't do anything then. Listen to it? Nothing. Well, we have all but one item anyway, so if that opens them, then I have to wait till I get the other item. Uh, let's throw these around for a bit. Just in case somebody comes up here. They would have already, but you never know. I think this just goes over to the other tower, which I did not grab a fucking gas arrow. The hell is wrong with me? Before we go any farther this way, I wanted to go back and see if I can get into the trap door over here. I don't think I saw the vase. It's quite a big vase, too. I'm sorry. Vase. Prison key. Well, well, well. Oh. Hi. What's going to happen to me, then? Take it easy. I'm here for a different reason. Thank the Builder. Well, if you're not here to pluck my fingernails out, then what do you want? One of the locals asked me to look for his missing boy. He goes by the name Robert. 
I supposedly works here. Do you know anything about that? Oh yes, Robert, of course, of course. He was in the other cell, but yesterday they fetched him and cut him off somewhere else. Poor Taffer. Any idea where this somewhere else could be? Well, there are rumours that Lord Davenport is preparing something in the vault below the castle. You can get there through the door in the kitchen. I've never been down there myself because the very thought of it gives me goosebumps. But if you want to risk it, you can find the key hidden underneath the vase that's beneath the wolf's head on the second floor. Alright. Is there anything I can do to make your stay a bit more comfortable? These barbarians didn't give me anything to eat. And they probably want me to stew here in my own filth for a few more days. I just baked a nice cucumber cake topped with carrots when they brought me down here. I would kill for that right now. I don't suppose you could grab it from the kitchen for me, could you? Let's yeah. see what I can do. That doesn't sound like a bad idea. He did help me out, so I might as well help him out. Well. Seems like. Uh... They moved Robert because they didn't want him talking, but now we know where they moved him to. I'm trying to do my outro. Do you mind? Do you mind? You keep it up, I'm not going to give you the cake. So I thought. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed my nonsense. If you did, a like, comment, subscribing, and hitting that bell icon would be greatly appreciated. And this has been Boy Lag, signing off. Oh god! Uh. Close the damn door, please! Oh god, it scared the crap out of me! Wasn't expecting that! Come in! I mean, don't come in!